In this video we're going to consider turning points. Now a turning point is where the gradient of a um, curve is equal to zero. So if the gradient is equal to zero then when we differentiate that function um, the value of that is going to be zero. So I'm going to evaluate the gradient function of fx here by differentiation and that gives me 2x minus 3 so where 2x minus 3 equals 0, 2x equals 3, x equals 3 over 2. Now I'm going to substitute, uh, substitute that into the um, original function now. So f of 3 over 2 equals uh, 3 over 2 squared. Subtract 3 lots of 3 over 2, add 2. So I'm going to evaluate that on my calculator. and that gives me negative a quarter. Uh, and so the coordinates of the turning point, well the x coordinate was 3 over 2 and the y coordinate was negative a quarter. Um, but it asked me to find the nature of the turning point, so this means is it a maximum point or is it a minimum point? Um, so how am I going to find that? Well at a maximum point the gradient is changing from um, a positive gradient to a negative gradient so the rate of change of the gradient is negative and if we think about what happens at a uh, minimum point then the gradient is changing from negative to positive so the rate of change of the gradient is positive so when we talk about the rate of change of the gradient we're basically finding the gradient of the gradient function. Um, so I'm going to use f double dash x. So I'm going to differentiate this again and that gives me 2. So that's positive. So because the second derivative is positive um, then this is a, a minimum point because the uh, second derivative was positive. Now if we consider what this graph looks like, it's a quadratic and it goes that way around. So we can hopefully recognize it's going to have a minimum point and by previous knowledge of quadratics. Okay, so this uh, second question, we're going to go through a very similar process because we're looking for the nature and coordinates of determining points, but plural this time, and that's because I've got a cubic. So I'm going to differentiate. So that gives me 3x squared subtract 5x subtract 2. And um, I'm trying to find where uh, this is equal to 0. So I've got the equation 3x squared subtract 5x subtract 2 equals 0 to solve. Um, so I'm going to multiply 3 and negative 2 to give me negative 6. So I want two things that add to make negative 6. Uh, sorry, multiply to make negative 6 and they're going to add to make negative 5 in the middle. So, uh, well, one of them will have to be positive and one of them will have to be negative um, because otherwise I'm not going to get a negative product. So they're going to have to have a difference of 5, so they're going to have to be negative 6 and positive 1. So now I'm going to write this as 3x squared, subtract 6x add x track 2. Then I'm going to just look at the first two terms and I'm going to factorize that. So 3x is a factor and x minus 2 is in the bracket. Second bit, well I've just got one lot of x minus 2. So now I can factorize again. So I've got 3x um, plus 1 and x minus 2. So either x is negative a third or x is 2. So these are the x coordinates of my two turning points. So I'm going to find the y coordinates. So f of negative a third is equal to negative a third cubed minus 
5 over 2 lots of negative a third squared, subtract 2 lots of negative a third, add 3, and f of 2 is equal to 2 cubed minus 5 over 2 lots of uh, 2 squared, minus 2 lots of 2, add 3. So I'm going to evaluate both of these. gives me 181 over 54 and the second one gives me negative 3 so I've got my coordinates now they were negative a third 181 over 54 and then 2 negative 3 but I need to consider the nature as well. So I'm going to have to find the second derivative, so f double dash of x. So I'm going to differentiate that, and that gives me uh, 6x minus 5. So when x is negative a third, or 6 times negative a third is negative 2, subtract 5 is negative 7. So that tells me when x was negative a third, I've got a maximum and f dash of 2 gives me 12 subtract 5 gives me 7 uh, so because that's positive it tells me that that's related to a minimum